Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video tutorial. Today we're back on my Mac using GIMP, which is going to be heaps of fun. So today we're doing some really nice water effects, um, where you're basically putting your text, your logo on water and making it look pretty watery, effecty looking. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. This tutorial was originally on Abdu Zidu. I'll leave a link for the original. Um, and it uses a water stock from the website shutterstock.com, uh, which is a paid stock um, website. So I found a nice water stock that you guys can download. The link will be in the description. So you want to go open that up. Like so and create a new layer to start off with. Dragging that down and colouring that in with the fill tool black. On the um, original layer here, we're just going to go 60% opacity, change the opacity to 60% all about, because the uh, original image is really vibrant and we just want to change that a bit. So, the first thing we are going to do is go to our colours filter and we're going to do quite a colours panel and we're going to do quite a lot of colour editing to this image. So first of all we're going to go to the hue and saturation and on the hue we want zero and lightness zero and the saturation we want around minus 70 and that gives us a really nice grey effect here. Now to make this nicer, we're going to go to the colours again and go to our levels tab. And as our little grey one is here, our grey slider in here, we want to move this down until the number says around 0 0.5. There we go, perfectly. The next step in the, uh, the colours adjustments is really simple, it is optional or not, but I'll just show you it. We want to go to colours, minus and contrast, and lower the contrast to around minus 20, something like that. I don't like it like that, so I'm just going to leave it. Depends how you like your image. The next step in the tutorial is create a new layer. Fill it in with black, and turn the uh, layer mode on to multiply. Then get our paintbrush tool with our foreground colour on white and our brush on a really fuzzy brush such as this one and the size on around 2000 for this particular image depending on your image basically and you just want to click right in the center like so giving us a, a nice um, Binge net, binge net, something like that effect. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the word. I've been told so few times. Um, so we're basically finished with our water layer for now. So we're going to get right on to adding our logo. So first of all, we're going to go to File, Open as Layers. You can use your selected logo. Or you can use a um, some text that you can do for this. So let me just get my uh, logo up. Where is it? Uh, what? No. There we go. And since I did my logo really badly and left some of the white in. I just need to remove that using my fuzzy brush quickly. Now if your logo is got this um, dotted yellow lines going across it, that means it's that's how big it is. So first we're gonna change that by going to colours, sorry, layout layer to image size and then we're going to colors to change it to white brightness and contrast we're going to push up the brightness and the contrast 
on Max. The next step in this tutorial is we're going to make the um, logo or text look like water. So we're going to be using a distortion filter called iWar. Go to filters, distort, iWar. Now, if you want um, the settings the same as mine, so go make sure the settings um, are as mine. So the default mo mode is on move, default radius is on 40, Form amount is on 0 0.30 or 0 0.3, um, and this can change depending on the size of your image, the size of your logo, etc. So, first of all, you just want to hold your mouse, your uh, left mouse button, and drag across and do the same to the whole logo. Remember not to go up and down because water doesn't really go up and down. Sorry, I just closed that. Yeah. Something like that. When you're happy with it, click OK. The next step in this tutorial is we're going to add a blur just to fuzz it out a bit, make it look not so uh, curved, etc. So we're just going to give it a. Um, Five, uh, five point, five pixel blur, like so. Just giving it a, a nicer effect. The next part in our um, tutorial is to add a layer mask. So right click on the layer and click Add Layer Mask. Get our paintbrush tool. Ensure that it's on white, and the size is at around eight hundred. And we're just going to paint, paint at the bottom and the top of our text to ensure that it looks like the water connects to it. So once you're happy with that, we can move on to our next step by creating a new layer. Sorry, not a new layer, duplicating our water layer by clicking the little duplicate button here, dragging it on top of our text and setting the mode to overlay. This gives it a nice finishing touch. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll um, catch you at my next great GIMP tutorial.